This video will show you how to create menus from foods and recipes in Nutritics. It will also demonstrate how these menus can be used to generate digital interactive display boards as well as allergen and calorie summary reports. To get started, click the My Menus tab in the Explorer folder. You can then either create a new menu or make a new group for storing multiple menus in a menu cycle. I'll just make a single menu for now as I can reorganize this later. There are a number of ways items can be added to your menu. The most familiar will be to search for an item and click the insert button to add it to the menu workspace. It can also be helpful to use the groups filter here to find meals and foods from a particular group quickly. Multiple items can be added at a time by dragging a folder group onto the menu workspace. Another way to add items is to expand a recipe or a food group in the workspace by clicking on it. Then, it's just a simple drag and drop to add that item to your menu. This method gives you finer controls and insights into what is being added to your menus, as you can customise the display to monitor costs, allergens, nutrition and much more as you go. Similarly, when you have finished adding items to your menu, open it to review and customise the parameters on display. This enables you to run analyses on the total menu, for example, the production cost or waste, and you can even estimate portion requirements from the predicted popularity of the dish. This is discussed in more detail in a separate menu cycle and waste management video. The layout of the workspace here can be changed to a table view by clicking the thumbnail toggle at the bottom right corner of the screen. Either of the views can be exported for printing or sharing. Once satisfied that all items have been added to your menu, an allergen and calorie summary report can be generated from the paper button at the top of the screen. This displays all allergens and calories on your menu in one simple report for printing or sharing. Menu settings are accessed by clicking on the grey slider icon in the top right corner of the menu workspace. Within the settings menu, there are several tabs that allow for the customization of the menu. Choose the information to be displayed on paper and digital menus, for example, menu item prices, calories and allergen information, an ingredient list and front and back of pack nutrition information. Choose the look of the menu, for example, apply a light or dark theme and select how many menu items or tiles are displayed in each line. Enter a disclaimer to be displayed on all menu items. Choose how customers can interact with the menu. Interactive mode allows customers to scroll through the menu and click on menu items for more information or for ordering purposes and is recommended where menus are being displayed on touch screens. Untick this option if your menu will be on a digital display or TV that is not a touch screen. Tick here to allow customers to exit the current menu they are viewing and browse all published menus. Tick here and the menu will return to the list of published menus after a period of inactivity. Enable a featured item screensaver and menu items will flash on screen when the menu is left idle. Menus can also be made live from the Publishing tab using the drop down. Choose if the menu is published immediately or schedule a date and time for the menus to go live. Live menus have an orange circle beside the menu title in the Nutritics Explorer and on the digital menu button in the menu workspace. Choose how the menu will be accessed by customers in the Sharing tab. Libro is an app designed to track diet, exercise and lifestyle goals. Libro users log their diet and exercise on the app and receive analysis reports and feedback from their nutrition professional directly to their phone. Publish menus to Libro to allow Libro users to browse the menu on their smartphone. Copy and paste the menu URL to display the menu on a website, on a tablet or other displays. Embed the menu on a website using the code provided or display the QR code online or at an outlet for customers to scan on their phone. Menu settings can be saved as a template and applied to other menus. Click Save As 
Name your template and the template will be saved for reuse. To apply a template, click on the template name and select Apply. Right-clicking on a template gives you a number of options. You can set the template as the default menu layout, you can update the template, or you can rename or delete it. Click on the digital button to preview your digital menu. Menu items are shown in a tile format. Customers can scroll through and filter the menu by clicking on the tabs along the top. Customers can filter by their dietary preferences and allergies by clicking on the drop down menu at the top of the screen. Clicking on a menu item will open it. The information on display, for example calories, pricing etc, can be controlled from your menu settings. So that's it for this tutorial. Why not check out our separate guide on meal ordering? If you have any questions, contact us at support at